Yeah, good. Tell me, is it whack up in the air? Rappers scattered off the gear. I can map him, get yeah, the air. It's like a tracker, get distracted, send him back like in the mail. Not a fraction of them real. Catch him, let him run the drill. Bro, running through the shit like a motherfucking day. Oh, yeah. Nice. Beautiful, eh? That's good. Takes a bit of water in through the bonnet. Oh, because of the vent, eh? Yeah. The water's come onto the battery. Nice. Do these always come out? Or is that just mine? Just yours. It's a feature though. It's a feature. Yeah, you wouldn't want it to be staying in there, would you? <laughs> Weight <Wow>. reduction. <laughs> so we got Tom here. He's a um, qualified mechanic and he's going to have a look over the car and tell me what's wrong with it. Yeah, that's me. I swear you always <laughs> say he's a qualified mechanic. Every single time. <laughs> You're more qualified than me. So, where I'm at with it, I put this on. Alright. And that's it. And then I can push it that far and that far. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good start. So uh, straight away I was like, what the hell does that mean? And so I googled it and they're like, oh, make sure it's in neutral. And so I checked that and it's in neutral. That's as far as I got. Could it mean bent valves? Yes. Yeah. That's what someone said in the comments. I hate timing these. Someone said it's easy, just take the radiator out. Yeah, Tom literally did one the other day and I'm just like, nah, I'm not doing it. I hate it. So I got no idea. I got no idea about RB shit and I'm familiar with it. <laughs> it's just like, they've like squashed the engine and turned it around. <laughs> I used to love these. Oh my That's god. Yeah. It's a freaking beast. Yeah, but if you want a lot of power, you have to spend a lot of money. I don't need a lot of power. Yeah, but I wanted a lot of power in mine. Yeah. That's why you just put a V8 in it. I'm not opposed to that. But yeah, it's missing the power steering pump for some reason. Gone. You know why? Because they're so expensive. Really? Oh, yeah. so they would have taken off and sold it. Yeah. It's missing the WRX steering wheel and seats as well. Are they expensive? Stitcher. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. We're well, going to say they're really expensive. I'll probably chuck one bucket seat in it. Yeah. And a roll cage. Strip it out. And strip it out anyway. That blower felt can be sold. That's good money. She Mate, need that. She can go some. Keep in that. What? Yeah, nah, we will sell that and have a dose. Wait, I don't know why, but I've always had blow valves on my cars. Yeah. Xavier's like, why are you got a blow valve? I'm like, because it's like, you need it for rego. Legal, okay. like street legal. And he's like, dude, your car's so legal. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, you got a point, act. Eh? Should be fine. It's a very weird law because it's... They, you can run the blow valves, but you can't vent it to atmosphere. Mm. If you're running none at all, mm. it's illegal. Kinda. Mm. It's you're not really venting. Like you get it going back out your pod when it doses. Yeah. But that's not gonna be anything filter that. crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's filtering. Yeah, it's both filtering. ways. Two-way filter. Yeah. Oh, that's. Cool. I know that feels scary. Yeah. But what do you reckon is the first plan of attack? Because obviously something's not right. So it's hard because usually, in. probably, they're pretty easy to pull out anyway. So yeah. it's probably going to be the best way to go because it's weird. Like just looking at it, the marks look like they're going to be pretty close to lining up. So, I don't know if it's skipped or anything. Is it these marks here? So you've got a couple. So you've got one dot which lines up the top. Okay. And then you've got these two dots, mm -hmm. which they go straight up and down, line up with those two dots. Yeah. And then that line off there, there's another mark on that back of that timing case, similar to that. Okay. So then those two line up and then you know they can't be wrong. Yeah. Um, you crank, it's just got a little dot off to the side there, they'll come straight up and down, there's a mark on the back of that housing down there somewhere. Okay. And then this side's exactly the same. One dot straight up, two dots straight up and down to line up. Yeah. Which they also look like they will line up. So the belt 
doesn't look like it's off, but it could very well be. Yeah. It's, you, sorry, you go. Usually, when there's like piston on valve, you can hear it. Like, even as you're turning it over, you'll come over and you hear a click. Mm. Like, as it actually hits the cast on cast. Mm. But I can't hear any noise. See, the thing, all I know about this, right, the guy said he bought it and he already had a WRX, so I'm assuming he's taken parts off it. Yeah. For one, there is oil in it. There's a shitload of oil on the trailer. Don't it's all out. Leaking, don't know why. Was it power steering? Well, it looks like engine oil. But it, it? it could be, no, I didn't. It was probably best. It could be, yeah. It actually would make sense. Did you turn the wheel at all to get it on the car? Probably. That's what it would have been. It would have been, eh? Because that's got oil heaps of oil in it. Still. Holy shit. Black. So, no, it's Black. fresh. It's service. So. And so what he said is that he bought it, <clears throat> tried to get it starting. Yep. And it turned over, but it wouldn't start. So he's changed the coil pack, the leads, the spark plugs, and then... He's gone to look at the timing and then just said, stuff it, I'm going to sell it. And he said it turns over. Yeah. I haven't tried. If it turns over, we need to hear it turning over because mm. you can tell a lot from a motor trying to turn it. You can hear if it's got compression or not. Yeah. Um, and you can see, obviously, if it's got spark. Yeah. Because it could be as simple as if it's not sparking, mm. then it could just be a faulty crank angle sensor or something like that. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a lot of things it could be, mm. but unless it's not crank like you know, it could have a blocked bloody filter or something like that for the fuel, or mm. so many things it could be, unless you hear it. Yeah, yeah, he's put this on there. Yeah. Um, to like see the fuel pressure. Do you reckon um, I'll put like my jump starter pack on here and just try and start it? I'd say so. At least we can happens. listen to it, yeah. Alright, let's do that, that's exciting. Let's do, <laughs> let's do that. Let's probably take this away. No, nah, it made that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that it won't just like absolutely grenade the engine when you try to start it, but yeah, who knows? You're we'll not going to know. I'm not sponsored by this brand, Powertech, but this thing is the bee's knees. Okay. This thing is a freaking weapon. So I got it from J-Car, 100 bucks. You okay. charge it up. Yeah, it's got a light on it. You charge it up, you chuck it in the back seat of your car. This is how much space it takes up. And we are at Matt's area one time. These guys were trying to jump start a diesel. So lots of cranking amps. Yeah. They had another diesel trying to start it with jumper leads to another car. So they had two cars, couldn't get it going. Took them all off, put this on at work. Right. Yeah. I'm talking it up. All right. <laughs> it better be good. Like, it better just start this thing <laughs> up. better start it up, eh? That'll be positive. I'm about to find out. Negative. Boy, you should see the key for this thing. Snapped yeah, in half. I saw the video. Get a good connection on here. You turn it on. You get four goes. Four goes, eh? Actually, Hopefully that doesn't just drop straight into the water. No, it won't because that's sitting there. Engineering and stuff. Um, I just gotta find the key now. I found it. I actually put it back in the Chinese container. <laughs> you get any light on you? No. Don't tell me your jump pack's no good. It's not the jump. Yeah, actually, why not? There's an aircon thing. Oh, it's behind this cover, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it might be. Yeah. And then there's a bolt missing out of it, which is not a good sign. Not a good sign. There's only two bolts in it. Definitely not a good sign. It's, it'll be fine. It's There's an easy U. It's still there. It's stock. I don't know. That's good. That's so maybe it is your jump pack then. Is it definitely charged? It wouldn't be a jump pack. It's fully charged.
Using the S13 as a donor car. The good old Vapor S13. For the buddy Subaru. Dude, look how good this is. This is the best bracket you can get. Bit That's of, pretty heavy duty. Bit of tape on there. The screws are in the corner so it holds it. Because I've had so many problems with yeah. around drift cars. Yeah, okay. Yeah, absolute shit. You've had your experience and learned from it. Yes. You're like, well this is crap. Yeah. Definitely. Hopefully this will do it. It should. Ah, oh, well, it'll start right up. Yeah, <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> Just start right up. Yeah. Old mate just didn't have a battery on it yeah. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Imagine that, he's had a flat battery. He's like, he's like bought new spark plugs yeah. and everything. The whole time. Oh, I just had a flat battery, man. Wait, but sometimes you can get a deal like that. You can. You can. If you have, you'll be bloody cheering. Yeah, they, they do exist. But... <laughs> but yeah, it's unlikely in this situation. But there's still a possibility. Could be alright. We're about to find out one way or another. Just mechanican. Oh Jesus! This big battery. Oh. It's too big for the old Subaru. It definitely is way too big. Nah, it fits it's the perfect. exact size you need, actually. It's mint. Apart from the fact that that terminal is like way too small. It is way too small, but it will work. Just stretch it over it. <laughs> How small is that though? Mm. What do they have on there? Like the a, batteries a are 10 really volt like battery? Thin on these. They're tiny little boys. It's gonna go on. You reckon? With a hammer. Okay. <laughs> is it gonna come back off again or? Let's figure that out later. Pliers. Fuck, that's annoying. Um, we'll stretch it on there. That one will definitely go. Oh. Whoa. You got power. You hold those, you hold that. I'll just hold it on there. Alright. Just please hold the Hang rubber. on a sec. Yeah, don't touch any of the metal. <laughs> Yeah, it's not quite right. You got your hazards on. <laughs> Probably from when it broke down on the side of the road. <laughs> no, it's not in gear. Right, you ready? Yeah. Yeah, sick. <laughs> Made a noise. That doesn't seem like, yeah. The, that sounds like the that's battery. It's got to be a wiring problem. These wires are getting hot. Um, hang on. I've disconnected it. I heard a fuel pump then. Yeah, there's a... Oh, no, there's something at the front here pumping. Yeah, it might have been the fuel. Um, the wires got really hot. Yeah, it's because they're not on the battery properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's do that. There's a little switch on here. Might be like an ignition switch. A kill switch. Yeah, 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 no, that, that switch, don't hit the switch. Don't hit the switch? Don't hit the switch. <laughs> what if I already did? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That'll be extra. Extra hectic. Extra groovy, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll go with a hammer. They need to be upgraded anyway. Oh, yeah. oh, little ripper. Step on your own device. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Didn't need that anyway. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That'll go. That'll be a good seal. <laughs> it's just going to get hot, but it'll go on. It's better than holding it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least you only like set fire to the car, but not your hand. Yeah, I wasn't comfortable holding it. And the reason it could also be not doing a thing is because it is all seized up and yeah. it's. Literally physically can't move. Mm -hmm. 
but I do have a way around that. It's a bit dodgy, but I've done it before and it's worked, so. The actual engine? Yeah. yeah. Like, if it's locked up, you can unlock it. Yeah. It's a bit sus, but you can do it. Okay. Oh, wait. Is that that'd, how you unlock the engine? That'll do it. It's in the glove box. Yeah. He's come prepared. Is there a hole for it? There is. Just like mm -hmm. throw it in there somewhere and it eventually will work. You Actually, know, this yeah, is a bit Mechanic. Yeah, it'll show up. Oh my god. Mechanic. That's actually. <laughs> it's gone, That's man. actually a long way down. Nah, here. you're not getting that back. I want it back. <laughs> I'll forget the other terminal. Into it. If you've got another terminal to bolt straight on, then yeah. happy days. The one that was in the other car. Here we go. They will. It's worth it. Look. I'd say right about this is not a good way to do things, and it may cause problems, <laughs> but it's a attempt. Maybe don't do it then. Well, I think the car's not actually starting because the starter which you can't turn the flywheel because the piston just sees in place from sitting for so long. So if we quickly try that again once you're ready. Do you maybe want to take the bar off? <laughs> Won't it like hit James in the head? Yeah, but it won't hit me. Hold the ship together. Car's lovely. You might not be able to start it or drive or anything, but plug in your radio and get doof doof beats and shit. It's got no area in it. Well, you can't do that. You can, you can sit in it. You can sit in it. There's a seat. Vape and stuff. I'm actually going to get that sticker. Gold Coast Vapes or whatever it is. Well, at least when he put these new seats in, he bolted them in. That's good. He didn't, though. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was serious. You wound the bolts in a couple of threads and said, oh, that'll do. That'll do it, mate. You can do so much weight reduction on this thing. Yeah. Just throw out the whole engine. Or well, just added a battery, so that's a step backwards. Yeah. It's start as well. You reckon that's on there secure enough? Good enough for me. I didn't even look at it, but she'll be right. You chuck the jump start on there. You give her a whirl. Like, really? It's the worst that could happen. Hmm. Not much. Alrighty. You ready for action? Oh, yeah. Probably gonna do the exact same thing again. Alright, you ready? Yeah. That seems like um what is what is it going when you when you click? That's the start up. Yeah, it's right. like a dead short. Yeah, the So, with your pistons being seized, it means the motor's going to be stuffed anyway. Yeah. Or, if we can free it up and see if it actually runs. It's because it's been sitting for so long, and it's probably got all water and oil in the cylinder. So, essentially, what we're trying to do, you'll probably find. We go back. Seems to be going further. Seems to be going further. No, that's the same as well. So if we go to there, you'll probably find this will move quite a fair way. Okay. It should. It shouldn't just go quick. It should like move a bit. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you're right. Oh yeah. See, I told you. So smart, Tom. I told you. He's a qualified mechanic. So he's qualified. <laughs> so what that means is it's getting caught on the starter. Makes sense. So we have to try to do some things. Some Jimmy. Yeah. So we're just going to have to yank on this. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. It, go. It could cause a lot of damage. Yeah. But it's getting caught. Do you want me to do it? Probably should. Yeah, something's, yeah. something's locked up in there. This is the only way to unlock it. You're just tightening the bolt. Oh, yeah. 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 
Tom, do you it's remember? Moving more than Tom, do you want to turn the ignition off? Ignition off. Yeah, you're draining the battery. Yeah, you've almost got it top dead centre mark now. So we can actually check the timing while it's there, and that'll tell us if there's a bent valve. It's definitely doing a thing. You gotta think, you know how long, by the looks of it, this has been sitting in old mate's like, front yard or whatever for a long time. He could have bought it exactly in this condition. This is all rusty and the covers have been left off, it's been in the rain. That's probably why it's all locked up. Yeah. But if we can always get it cranking, yeah, yeah, yeah. then we're good. Those marks I was talking about, so they're pretty much bang on. They're pretty much bang on. So all your tire marks are sweet, so the timing's right on it. That's good. I'm going to just keep doing this until it starts yeah, freely. free it up. Because pretty much what I can see, the fact that you can go all the way there and all the way back and we don't have any contact, that literally just sounds like shit seized and slowly unseizing itself. Right, no it's coming free. Oh, we could be onto something here. Oh, it's feeling good. It's getting there, mate. It's like a big jackpot thing. You pull the lever on the jackpot. <laughs> you just got to crank it. Bang! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you would have already been pulling the motor out and shit. Yeah, well, no, no. Yeah, I call one mechanic, mate. <laughs> Say, hey, Tom. You know what you're doing with Subarus. Subaru expert, mate. I went to turn it and it was like stiff as and I was like, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, like, but like I was saying, you can hear if things are tapping on each yeah, other. Yeah. And you've moved so far that everything's working. Seems to be working. And that belt's lined up. I can feel it though when you do it. Yeah. You can feel it getting better. So, um, question for you. When you hand rotate an engine like this, if you go, is there a right way to go clockwise or anti clockwise? So you might only go clockwise. Yeah. And what happens if you go back the other way? Well, it's just the way the tension works mainly because mm. the tension is putting pressure. If you're going back, you could potentially skip a tooth. Mm. And it's all designed to turn that way. Yeah, right. The only ones that are different, there's a few Hondas that you turn anti clockwise, but general rule of thumb is always turn the same way that the rotating assembly is going. Okay. Good tip. Because I tried Googling that, and the problem was telling me. How easy is that to turn now? Getting there, because it will be. Do you want to try crank it again? Just so that yeah, yeah. Just crank it. I'm a bit excited. Jesus! <laughs> Hang on. You ready? Yeah, good. It's turning over. We don't have enough battery voltage on this, I think. You reckon? That prime's good. Fuel pump definitely prime. Got charge. See how that fuel's on the bar now. It started well and then it stopped again. Oh, okay. That's probably better because you really want to smack it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, not, there's this possibility that the sump is literally like full of jelly, essentially, with how old the oil is. Mm. And it's just never been changed as sap, and it's just all jelly. Mm. And that's why I saw it to it. So try this. No, we'll if try this doesn't one. work, then just take the drain plug off, and if you find that we know that that's 
full, but mm. no oil comes out. Okay. That's right, because that would make sense once it's so blocked up. Got through one problem, but yeah. yeah. Okay. It's not going from there. Are you trying to start it from the passenger seat? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I just keep banging on this. Yeah. Is the battery dead? Yeah, leave that. The battery's dead. You need to repress your jump starter button. Yeah. Alright, just leave it and see what it does. It sounds better than ticking noise. That's flat. Mm. Not better. No. <laughs> what I do to just be safe though is could put jumper leads on. Could do. Okay. We can just take the sub plug off and see if it all comes out. Yeah. What we have to do is quickly take just it out of the back end, just see if it drips out. Alright, so Tom suggested we have a look at the oil. We had a little bo, bo peep and there was a lot of water in it, so let's see what this is like. We drain it out and put some second hand oil in it. Oh mate, she's, there's a lot of water in that. I think it's water, I don't think it's fuel. Super liquidy though. I mean, it's not jelly though. It's not jelly. Tom thought it might have been jelly, but so that's good. Aftermarket sump plug. Like. Is there a lot of water and stuff in it? Or? It's super like wet. <laughs> it is. It's super oil, wet. Oil does that. <laughs> you no, know, there was like a big, um, maybe like half a cup of water came out of that. Oh, more came out? Okay. I think so. So. If that much water's come out, then all your boards are going to be all rusty. That's why it's so oh. seized up. Yeah. So really, all we can do to try to stop that is put new oil in mm. and crank it again. Mm. And then from there, it's literally just working it back and forth with the, the bar. Yeah. And just scraping off all the crap, pretty much. Yeah. We put a rattle gun on it, on the crank. It won't turn the crank. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was joking. Um, yeah, so we just let that drain out. We'll put the recycled oil in there and send it. Okay, so just to recap, um, my battery's almost dead, so I'll make this fast. Basically, um, Tom's come over to give me a hand. We put the um, pride, what do you call it? We put the bar, what is it? We put the breaker bar on the crank and gave it a turn and it was really stiff but after going back and forward back and forward a few times we we're able to free it up and then we turned that around enough to get it to go a full rotation and we put the battery on there started it or tried to turn it over and it barely even turns over and then a heap of oil came out um we changed the oil to some secondhand oil because it was all watery turns out it was the head get the rocker cover bolts weren't secured so secure that it still drips out so it's probably a like a gasket in there the rocker cover gaskets probably cooked um, so there's that but it's not turning over at all it's ticking but it's not turning over so Tom suggested a new engine um, which is probably what I'll do but I'm gonna get a new starter motor just to try to see if it's the starter motor or take that starter motor out and bench test it to see if it works and then get another second hand one and try that because it's not turning over at all so I'm gonna try that before pulling the whole engine out because that's gonna suck but well, because that's like a lot bigger. Damn, battery died. I don't know where I got up to, but basically, Tom suggested new engine, and I'm going to try bench test the starter motor first, and then see how that goes. If the starter motor's stuffed, then I'll try another starter motor, but Tom's saying that that's not going to work anyway because it's, it's binding too much, like the engine's too tight um, to spin freely, and when there's that much force on there, the starter motor's just dying. That's just all um, in theory though, so it's hard to test that without taking the starter out. I'm going to do that first. Um, but yeah, most likely a new engine. Um, but it's, a, it's going to be fun. We're going <laughs> to pull out a Subaru engine, never played with them before. Um, pull it all down, 
rebuild it, and then yeah, get it going and send it. Or get another engine, I don't know yet. These engines pop up for sale all the time. I had a quick look just then. There's someone giving one away in New South Wales, which isn't too far from here. So, um, plenty of options. There's also, as someone mentioned in the comments before, which I wanna say thanks to all you guys for dropping comments on the last video um, with suggestions and like just being active. That was really cool. Had heaps of cool conversations in there and I appreciate all the comments from you guys. Um, really makes me wanna make more videos and keep the conversation going. But someone said there's V8 um, engine mounts and like a, a V8 conversion kit for these, which could be freaking insane. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go down that track yet though. I do love like the Subi Rumble. So um, it'll just be a matter of coming to, it'll just be a matter of seeing what I can afford. But with the priority, the 180 is definitely the priority. So we're gonna be doing the tubs this week, hopefully. Um, the Grande has to get the gearbox looked at again. That's gonna happen first, then the 180 tubs, and then hopefully I sell the freaking ute. Does anyone wanna buy a BT50 ute that's a freaking beast? Um, it's a turbo diesel 2.5, 2007, I think, or 2009. Um, it's a freaking weapon. It's got a canopy, perfect tradie vehicle. Put a picture. This is the, the beast right here. And um, yeah, I'm trying to sell it. So if you're interested, DM me on Instagram. Also, add me on Instagram if you haven't already. Um, yeah, once if I can sell the ute, then I'll have money to build the 32. But at the moment, it's up to the expensive part, like buying an RB26 head, stupid expensive now. Um, and then building the engine, to putting the engine in, doing the harness, then the fuel system. There's a lot of stuff. So hopefully selling that will give me enough money to actually do some shit on the 32. But anyway, um, that's enough talking. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. Little update. Get to play with the Subaru and see what we have and what we don't have. I don't know. Um, but yeah, make sure, as always, hit that like button, drop the comment below, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one.